Hello, I'm Vipul, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you several scenarios involving scaling issues and how to resolve them. Let's get started. Scaling issues can arise due to different reasons, such as a misconfiguration of a scaling policy, scaling out instead of scaling in, the auto-scaling group isn't responding to a CloudWatch alarm, a health check replacement, or a scheduled action is occurring, or an instance is stuck in pending wait or terminating wait state and is reaching the Amazon EC2 instance limit. Let's look at each scenario and perform following checks based on auto-scaling configurations. Scenario 1. Amazon EC2 auto-scaling group isn't following the scaling policy I configured. Check your scaling policies to see whether more than one policy is triggered by an event. If two policies are executed at the same time, then auto-scaling follows the policy with the greater impact. For example, here I have one policy to increase desired capacity to 2 and another policy to increase desired capacity to 4. Auto-scaling increases the desired capacity to 4 when both policies are triggered at the same time. Scenario 2. Amazon EC2 auto-scaling group is scaling out instead of scaling in. Verify if a scale-out policy and a scale-in policy are triggered at the same time. When a scale-out policy and a scale-in policy are triggered at the same time, then auto-scaling follows the scale-out policy to confirm availability. To verify if scale-out and scale-in policies are triggered at the same time, review your alarm history from the Amazon CloudWatch console to check if the two associated alarms were triggered at the same time. Review your auto-scaling group's activity history from the EC2 console to check if the associated schedule actions were triggered at the same time. Scenario 3. Amazon EC2 auto-scaling group isn't responding to a CloudWatch alarm or a health check replacement. Check if your auto-scaling group already reached its minimum or maximum capacity. As you can see here, this auto-scaling group, test auto-scaling group, has reached its maximum limit of 3. Check suspended processes for your auto-scaling group. As you can see here, the replace unhealthy and terminate processes are suspended for this auto-scaling group. This means that it cannot execute a health check replacement or CloudWatch scaling policy. If you're using a simple scaling policy, check if your instances are in a cooldown period. Simple scaling policies are suspended until after the cooldown period. As you can see, a default cooldown period of 300 seconds is applied to this auto scaling group. If you're using a step scaling policy or target tracking policy, check if an instance warmup is in progress. If you specified a warmup time, Instances aren't counted towards the metrics of the auto-scaling group until after the warm-up. This means that instances in warm-up aren't counted towards the group's capacity and warm-up blocks scaling in. Check if there is a lifecycle hook configured for your auto-scaling group. If there is a lifecycle hook, you might need to either complete the lifecycle hook or wait for the timeout period to end. As seen here, a heartbeat timeout of 120 seconds is applied to this auto-scaling group, which means that the instances remain in wait state for 120 seconds during launch. Scenario 4. Instance is stuck in the pending wait or the terminating wait state during scaling activity. If you configure a lifecycle hook for your auto-scaling group, an instance might be paused in the pending wait or terminating wait state. Except for step scaling and target tracking policies, which are triggered at a larger step, other scaling activities are suspended 
until the instance leaves the pending wait or terminating wait state. To determine if you have a lifecycle hook configured, run the following AWS command line interface command. To continue the scaling process, you can either wait for the timeout period to end, which is 1 hour by default, or you can complete the lifecycle hook using the AWS CLI command. Scenario 5. Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling Group isn't responding to a scheduled action. Check the time zone you configured for the scheduled action. You must schedule actions in Coordinated Universal Time UTC. Review your auto scaling group's activity history from the EC2 console to check if there is any scaling activity that conflicts with your scheduled action. Scenario 6. Reaching Amazon EC2 Instance Limit If your auto scaling group isn't scaling due to your EC2 instance limit, you receive a message similar to the following. To increase the limit, contact AWS support. For more information on limits, see AWS Service Limits. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.